Hello everybody! It's me, Lady Vivian, and today instead of Minecraft, we're going to do something a little different. We have my son David here. Say hi, David. Hello. We're supposed to say hi, David. It's a, it's hi, a hi, David. Okay, right. Yeah. And um, we're going to talk about Symantle. So we've all been playing Wordle. Our family has been like Wordling for weeks now. And one of my friends on another uh, Discord server said, hey, have you played Symantle? And and I said, oh, no, what's that? She said, well, it's a semantics thing instead of uh, word spelling. And I said, oh, that's super fun. Let's try that. And and the first time I did it, I, I got it in 17 tries, which is actually like uh pretty phenomenal and and everyone's like you're a genius and I was like yes I'm a genius and then the next time it was like 200 tries I gave up and I went oh my god I'm so bad at this and I have a degree in English so you know I expect myself to be able to understand words and when I read his directions he says the game will tell you how semantically similar it thinks your word is to the secret word so I'm expecting as an English major that the word is going to be similar in meaning to the word that is the secret word. So I'm guessing words that are similar in meaning, and the closer I get to the meaning of the right word, the closer I'm getting to the secret word. But it doesn't apparently turn to that. It doesn't apparently work out that way. And my understanding as an English major is not the understanding that a computer developer like David Turner, who invented this game, is. And so I brought my son David in because he understands all of this stuff. And um, so we're going to look at the game and how it's played and what makes it more difficult to play than it seems like it should be uh, for me and maybe how we can do a little bit better at it. So um the first thing is, uh, the most important thing about this is, is is here where it says the similarity value comes from word to vec David, tell us what word to vec is. So, word to vec is an algorithm that is uh, used to go through a large selection of text. So in this case, they took some 3 billion words in news articles from Google and somehow pull out the relationships between words um, and store them in a vector space, which is a, a mathematical algebraic structure. So you can look at a sentence and you can look at words that are next to each other or the order that words are going to appear in, and those will be common through articles, and this algorithm goes through and collects all of this information and somehow stores it in words as a vector and related to other vectors and sums of other vectors and this sort of thing. And so there's a cool mathematical structure behind it um, that can then be used to do uh, like natural language processing or predictive text on your phone or, you know, make this game. And the idea of using words in a vector space is so that you can do mathematical problems using words instead of mm -hmm. numbers, right? Yeah. And so we have... Um, uh, I have. I'm gonna link a bunch of um, a bunch of videos and information for you guys in the description when I put this up on my YouTube channel after it's Twitch expired, uh, so that you can learn more about word to vec more about uh, vector spaces, more about um, what's it n n dimensional vector mm -hmm. spaces, and yep. um, and the other fun thing. What was the other fun thing? Uh, I'm learning a lot of things about this whole thing, and uh, uh, I had some great visits. There were a uh, lot of things. Great visits. <laughs> a data science. I found a data science one that talks about uh, how the words are grouped in similarity. But so uh, David Turner has taken news articles from Google News, and we don't know what he's using to determine similarity. So uh, we don't necessarily know um, if. Uh, if a, if as part of he talks about secret words can be any part of speech. It's easy to think of only nouns, but you know it could be any kind of speech. But he doesn't say that, for example, a noun is going to be more similar to another noun, or it's going to be more similar to another verb. And in fact, one of the um, uh, explanations of how word to vec works uh, explains that word to vec is more likely to give you the word that comes after the word you're thinking of instead of a, a synonym for the word you're thinking of. Is that, am I saying that right, David? Mostly, yeah. 
that uh, is mostly used to do that, and it's very good at doing that. Um, I think one of the sort of pitfalls of the game is that it's not really meant to give you words that have the same meaning. Um, right, like we right. think it should. Which is what I was thinking it did. Yeah. So we're going to start by putting in some guesses. Now, one of the things it tells you here is, um, you know, on Wordle uh, that everybody's playing, you only get six guesses. He says, David Turner says here, you will need more than six guesses. You will probably need dozens of guesses. And people, I, you know, we often know people that need a couple hundred guesses, and most of us give up about that point. Um there's a new word every day, which starts for us at 4 p.m., which is why we're doing this stream at this time. So we're going to look at yesterday's game today, game number 24, which um, is different on every device. So I've played it already on my phone. We played it as a family last night. And then I'm going to play it on my computer because I haven't played it on here yet. And then at 4 o'clock, it'll change over to the new game. And we'll see how what we've learned helps us, uh, see if it helps us do any better. So this tells us here that number Puzzle number 24, the nearest word, has a similarity of 69.46. The tenth nearest word has a similarity of 47.19. And these are kind of like percentages. And the one thousandth nearest word has a similarity of 22.0. So um, if you have a, a, a word program that says that automatically capitalizes the first letter of everything you type, you want to check this treat all input as lowercase because you want it to go in as a lowercase. So when we played this last night, I started with the word marshmallow. I always start with a random word because that's what you got to do. And random word, uh, marshmallow gives us a 7.2, which is not the worst ever, but it's not great. And so you want to go to something completely different. And so we went to park. And, okay, that is worse, right? That is a lower number than marshmallow. So in theory, this should be farther away from the main word than marshmallow is. However, uh, in fact, neither of these words will be anywhere near the nearest word because the thousandth nearest word should be 22. So until we get at least to 22, we're not even in the bog park, in the, in the ballpark talk because that's coming up right one way that i i was thinking of this was it, it's sort of like us sitting here in southern california measuring the distance between two cities in europe right one right. of them is closer than the other but uh, they're both that, so far right, away it doesn't, it's... it doesn't really matter you know Right, because we're not going to walk there. City that's closer <laughs> is never going to get you closer, right? Right. That's a good. That's a really good analogy. So next, I tried tram, which was worse. Uh, so then I start with like animals. Is it an animal? No, dog is worse. Um, so I random. Well, marshmallow was better. So maybe it's like going camping because marshmallows. Oh no, that was terrible. Um, so maybe it's marshmallow because it's a food. Uh, ooh, food is actually better. So I thought, okay, good, we're on a track. Well, is it a food? Is it marshmallow because it's a dessert? Um, no, dessert was horrific. Uh, so is as a food, is it just because it's a meal? And so at this point, I always go uh, way far away. So right? you would do if, something completely different here. I, I I went for like kindness. Okay. Right, uh, like a like a fully different concept to see if that got me anywhere. And it did, actually. It was good for you, right? Uh, I, I think, think kindness so. <laughs> was pretty good for you. Did you do it on your phone? If you pull it up, it's still on there. Oh, I could do that. Yeah. I was just going to go through mine, but mine are, I did a lot of foods that were terrible. So we could just keep going with yours. Because I think he said kindness, but I didn't um, write that in here. Kindness got me a 10.14. Okay, so that's still so less than was, food. It was worse than food, yeah. That's still worse than food. So I tried um, eat, and that didn't help. And I tried meat, and that was terrible. And so I said, okay, what about vegetable? So you can see that I get stuck, right? I get stuck thinking that something is getting better, 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 better. And I and so then I get stuck in that thing. And um, whoops, nutrition. And, and so then I uh, get stuck in that rut and I don't ever get good enough. So, so, um, so then I think what? Getting stuck in this rut is the equivalent for me with Wordle when I type in a word and it says, don't use these letters. 
Right. And then I look at those letters and I can only think of words that use those letters. <laughs> That's all I you think can it's think the same of, idea right? where you've typed it in and you've gotten like 10 similarity. And, and that and probably Marimba is a warning of like, don't even try. Like, See, this Mar- is not. <laughs> yep. And Marimba Pirate is, is joined us and she said at this point, I would like to guess further away, but I can't think of different enough words at this point. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You, you can so... only think of the things that are there. So I said, okay, so maybe um, maybe it's something like health. And um, no, health wasn't any better. Okay, so then I said, all right, let's go, let's go somewhere different. Let's go to loyalty. And I think that might have been because you said kindness. And then I said, no, loyalty was terrible. So then my next guest was lawful. No, that was also terrible. So then I go, okay, whatever. Let's just let's go crazy. Truck. Nope, terrible. Let's go basic. Nope, also terrible. Let's go stomp. <laughs> I'm trying, is it a verb, right? You know, and so I just try to to go out there in totally different directions to see if I get something that um, that hits a uh, uh, a thing, you know. And um, and I I was. You know, I mean, I did it at night, which I should never do because it's tired and frustrating. And um, so what about turkey? Back to food. Nope, turkey's terrible. Well, we already knew meat was terrible. So what about like man? Um, No, woman. No. So then we said, what about father? Mother. No. So um, what about alien? No. And then I think my husband said human. Oh my gosh. So now you see all of a sudden now we're within the thousandth nearest word. We're not near as near as the 10th nearest word, but we're within the thousandth nearest word in 29 guesses. And this little green line will show you out of a thousand words, we're on the 779th word. So we're still 221 words away from the actual word. But we're at least sort of getting there into the ballpark. So then we started thinking, okay, so human. So is it person? Uh, No person was worse. Okay, well, now here's where I start getting crazy because human and person are the same thing to me. And so how do you have Mm -hmm. human be more like a word than person is like a word? How, How is... And I think that here's where I start quibbling with Mr. Turner in his use of the word similarity. I think that his directions should not use the word similarity because human and person are words that are extremely similar to each other. Which your quibble is unfortunately not with David Turner. It's with like computer science. (laughs) Okay. Um, There is an entire Wikipedia page on the term semantic similarity. And it has an entire list from, you know, topological, statistical, there's semantics based, but all on semantic similarity as a concept. And so there are, you know, probably hundreds of different metrics that you could use to determine some sort of distance between words or some sort of similarity between words. What you are thinking of is how interchangeable are their definitions. Yes, you're right. right? And, and, and that's, I think, probably the most intuitive, right? Right, like and I said, think that's what most people would think, I think, but maybe yeah, not. But, but word to vec if it's, you know, most useful piece or its, its best ability is to predict the next word or determine what words are next to each other in a sentence, then we sort of see that If I have a sentence where I'm talking about, you know, humans, right? Maybe I'm not talking about a human, but I'm talking about humans in general, a collection of human, right? Things about being human. It isn't the same as talking about that person or, you know, something like that. Right, right. One's a much more general idea, even though if we took the words and gave them definitions, you'd end up with something similar. Right, right. And so Marimba um, Pirate says, because human can be a descriptor, but person is only a noun, um, and possibly. Um, so we said, what the heckity, and so we tried humanity, um, and that was much closer. You can see that leap from, I mean, almost 200 words closer um, to the main word, 
um, just in that one. Um, and so we were, uh, now we're thinking, okay, so, all right, not person, but humanity, all right. Uh, our next choice was mankind. And mankind was even better, 57 words closer. And so then we thought, okay, well, what other word could be? I, I'm still trying to think what word can be similar. Um, and so that's good to know about the similarity index page. And, and I want to link that too. So be sure to send me that link so that I can put that in the link because I think that is a thing that will be really helpful. Um, I, can, uh, I can put it in chat, right? You, I that, don't know if you can link it in chat, but I'll for sure put it in the um, in the YouTube description when it goes on YouTube. Yeah, yeah you could. There you go. It is in there I'm too. a mod. You are a mod. You're a mod. So it makes sense that human was closer than person. Yes, because that uh, uh, mankind um, is a broader definition. So it's more than a person. Right. It's it's a broader concept than that. So we said, well, okay, what are other broad concepts of of people? No, nope. community was terrible. It was it was one that wasn't even. I mean, it's not even in the thousandth top ones. It's close yeah. to the thousandth top one, but it's not in the thousandth top one. We're like, and okay, I like, put, I put like civilization. Right. I think I I didn't, but let's put it. And that was, you know, down there with human. Um, I, but I for some reason, it's creature. in between life and human. Right. <laughs> right? Uh, no, it was between human and humanity. Well, and that makes sense. Civilization is a broader term that encompasses more humans than human. Right? So you have human and then civilization would be bigger and humanity would be bigger because a civilization might be like just ancient Rome, whereas humanity is like all of humanity and like Could mankind be. is like all of mankind. I, I guess I, I don't understand why mankind and humanity are not whatever, but okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so then we tried, um, I tried other things like creature because I wasn't thinking of what could be these were not good choices um he, we tried humane uh that wasn't good I tried species our brains were not working uh we tried everyone we're thinking what's what's humanity what's other than mankind I tried everybody um and then my husband said okay what about world and that was the word so we were surprised when world was the word because world has so many other meanings than humanity or mankind. It, it can mean the, the plant, the actual physical planet. It can mean um, many physical planets. It can mean um, it's, you know, you could say something like you mean the world to me, which is a big construct of my whole existence but is certainly much smaller than mankind um so uh it, it was an interesting construct but then um one of the things that david turner has done that is is really commendable when he started doing semantal it looked terrible it was in like two point type there was so much writing on the page you couldn't even get to it the first couple people i sent it to said oh i am not reading those directions um, and he's really cleaned it up he's given it a really much better user experience and it's much uh, more mobile friendly now and now he's got this um uh he's got stats here now you can see your stats how many days you've played how many times you've won on the particular device that you're playing on you can share your uh, wins on we share them on discord but you can share them in messages or other places but he's also got you can see the nearest words here and this is what we found fascinating last night and it made me want to make this video so um it says if you click this you'll see the contents of this page and it will spoil the puzzle so don't cheat all right so here we go this is where we looked at word to vec and went what the heck word to vec the nearest words to world are globe. Okay, I'll buy that. Globe is very close to world. Um, 998. Country. Okay, no. Country is not close to world. Country is a very, very small division of world. Not as small as human, but much smaller than mankind. How is that the second nearest word, David? So, 
I want to... Right? So you were thinking, when playing the game, okay, we went from, you know, human to humanity to, like, mankind, and so you were trying to think for more and more general words, right? Right. If you had started with world, and then you were given country, and you were getting closer and closer and closer, you would think to go to more specific things. Correct. So country is only similarity of 59.80, Right, world to world has a similarity of a hundred. Of like, course, if we think of it as a percentage, it's one hundred percent similar to itself. Obviously, right, right. right. But globe is only seventy percent similar, and country is only sixty percent similar. So it, it's not really close, right? I mean, it, it, it's closer than other things, but it isn't really. And if you're talking about where this data came from, it came from news articles, right? It is very often that a news article would be talking about something, uh, some like economic thing or uh, something else that's happening on a certain scale. And it would make sense for them to talk about something on the scale of a country and then talk about that same thing maybe on the scale of the whole world, maybe like shipping demographics or you know, whatever. Right. And so in a news article, while swapping out world and country would not give the same meaning to the sentence – it shows up in a sentence that same way. That makes a lot of sense. Well, right? yeah, but, but I just think, you know, so you've got world and then you've got planet down here, which seems similar. And, and But you're right. That's exactly it. But we looked at this list and, and we started trying to think how – how are some of these things on the list? And we and so we tried to come up with news article ideas that would that would justify having these things. I, we're wondering if one of his um, one of his criteria is that things in the same news article are more similar to each other than things in different news articles. So that anything in an article with the word world is more similar than a word that is in an article that does not have the word world in it. So, because um, we don't know what his measure of similarity is, what he what he decided to use for that. So, um, as we were going down the list, now mind you, we're getting to things that are still within the thousandth most similar all of these are within the thousandth uh, similar, but pygmies, <laughs> you know, we're coming to some interesting and, um, and funny things, but a couple of the ones that we came to were really um, strange. So one of the ones we found, if we can find it again, was um, hippogriff. Where was hippogriff? <laughs> hippogriff is pretty far down here. But it's still in here, and of course, in the top thousand. And of course, when you think about hippogriff, you don't think about um, world as a thing. But then, last night, as I'm falling asleep, as you so often do, I thought to myself, now wait a minute. If there's a news article about Universal Studios, and it's talking about the roller coaster, the flight of the hippogriff, in Harry, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, those would be in the same article. And so Hippogriff would have some similarity to the word world. There was also Fluffiest and Pinkest. And obviously, if there's an article about Despicable Me, then the girl gets the fluffiest, pinkest, stuffed unicorn in the world. Those things are going to, I mean, it's going to be the same sentence, literally. Do you think that that's the kind of similarity thing he could be using, or that could be right? That that could definitely do it. Uh, one of the the things is that word to vec is by on by itself. It's just an algorithm for constructing this you know structure of words, and the articles that are put into it would very much determine the kinds of things that are put in there. Um, and so he hasn't hand selected properties that he wants words to be like, you know, in the making of this game, he didn't sit down and go, okay, I want words to be similar if they have the same meaning or are in the same sentence. Like he didn't pick those directly. Um, the algorithm somehow comes up with them. 
and one of the you know downfalls of the game is that it shouldn't it's not meant to be seen in this way this is supposed to be the behind the scenes thing listing these thousand closest words doesn't make sense to us because a computer came up with these with this similarity but this I think was, it's very interesting. It makes you it, feel yeah. not so stupid because because all of a sudden you're looking at these other words and you're going, what? And so then you go back and you look at this and you go, oh, okay, it's not me. <laughs> it's yeah, Google, yeah, yeah. right? It's Google yep. that's coming up with this similarity here. Like here's Pinkist and here's Hippogriff. They're down here in the 200s. So they're not super close, but they're still within the top thousand, which, which to remind you... Um, in the top thousand, you are in the you're getting the green bars. So you're thrilled, right? If if you'd put hippogriff in here and you can actually guess more words, if you put hippogriff in here, you'd be going, Yes, I'm in the green. You know, and then you'd be starting to guess, you know, Minotaur, uh, you know, <laughs> Medusa. I'm trying to think of other mythical creatures, Chimera, so that you could try to get um you know, closer to what you think it might be if you had guessed this before guessing these things, you know. So, um, it is, can, we, can we come up with a strategy that will help us play this game any better? Like, at Probably what point... What, what <laughs> point <laughs> at what point here do we just, like, we totally go a different direction with every single word until we get a green one? Is that the best strategy, do we think? So, I think, y yes, um, but partly you should go until you get two green ones. Is okay, and then compare mind. them? And then compare them. Um, because, because then that's trending? <laughs> kind of. Uh, Except if we'd had Hippogriff and Humanity, we would still not have known what the trend was. <laughs> Right, but of course, like hippogriff is a it's a mythical creature, right? Mm -hmm. Mythical creatures are studies of world history, mm -hmm. right? Myths are okay. the world myths, right? That's, sure, you know. sure, maybe. So, so I could come up with a, a a you know set of steps that would get you there pretty quickly, but hindsight being you know, twenty twenty, yeah, of course. But that's the same as saying, knowing that the word is world and knowing that, you know, pinkest is in the top 1,000 is still hindsight. You're still looking back on oh, it. Oh, 100%. 100%. And so the idea is how to look at that and tell um, whether we can get any better. You know. Hashtag. <laughs> I... <laughs> I... <laughs> Don't know. I think the best way would be to look at a lot of games that have been played, right? This would yeah. be similar to. There's that three blue. Well, and you can't really because it dif it disappears, right? Yeah, here it disappears, so. and I wonder if he has the the source code up. Uh, yeah, it's right here actually. at the bottom. Uh, it says source code. Yes, right here at the oh, questions down yes. here. Um, so. Because the example, the the thing to do would be to run many games of it and to sort of, right? Y you would try to make a computer that would then play against this to try and beat the game, try and come okay. up with the word. Like the, analyze the, like the three brown, the one blue guy did for Wordle. Yes, the three blue, one brown. Three video. blue, one brown, sorry. Okay. Sorry, three blue, one brown, I didn't mean to get your name wrong. Um, <laughs> on Wordle, he, you know, takes the the game and, and makes a computer play the game over and over and then determines, you know, what strategies sort of are, are more useful. Um, but if you can only play one game a day, that makes that hard. Um, yeah, yeah. So he says... Um, but he says... Why is the similarity different from what I was expecting? He says, your guess or the target word is polysemous and the meaning that is similar is rarely used, like leather is far from patent. Um, so he is implying that there's supposed to be a similarity in meaning. 
Well, there is for all of the sort of top ones. Or one usage is simply more popular popular among newspaper reporters. If you start looking at, um, you know, the top 10, 20 words, they all right. have, you know, you could come up with a meaning that is similar between them. So you're looking at the, the that, full list. Globe, country, continent, nation, global, worldwide, globally, worlds, planet, countries, continents, nations, mankind, internationally, region, hemisphere, humankind, superpower but, in the sense of a country, not in the sense of Superman a having a superpower. A superpower. Right. Universe, international. So that's the top 20. Right. Globalized. So... All, all even a little above, so if you're within 20, you're sort of in the general meaning of where you're going. So, um... <laughs> Polysemus Finnegan. So, so the pro- hippogriff so not, you know. One thing is, you could imagine, if you lived, you know, to, to relate this to how Word to Vec is working. Right. If you were living on, um, so you lived on, on a road, that down the road, and then up, you know, maybe a block. You know, down like a mile and up like a block, there's a McDonald's. Right. Right? If you walked, you know, north, you walked parallel to the road that McDonald's is on, you would be getting closer to McDonald's. Right? The the hypotenuse of that triangle would be getting shorter. But right. you weren't really getting closer to McDonald's. But you are. Right. Right? But you aren't well, going you in the direction Well, you can't cut through people's it. backyards, but, I mean... Right, but um, here, do you have the ability to share, if I share a window with you? Sure. Can you pull that up? On, uh... I share it with you on Discord I like that? I think I can do you ju- that. You're just sharing your desktop, right? I'm just sharing my desktop, so let me see if I can pop this out. I can do that. How's that for fancy smancy? Nice. Hey, I got this. I got this Twitch thing. (laughs) You're welcome, Marimba Pirate. (laughs) Polysemus Finnegan. That was pretty good. So if, you know, we can have the example where we are, you know, here. This little spot is us. (laughs) Right? She says, on your mom's computer. (laughs) (laughs) If this little spot is the McDonald's, right, right, we could move, let's say, to here, right? Right. There is a sense where, you know, the new line is shorter than the old line. Right. Right? So we are closer. Indeed. To McDonald's. But if you think of, you know this, you could also say that we are not moving in the direction of McDonald's. Right. Right? But we are still getting closer, so part of us is moving in the direction of McDonald's. Well, and you can't, like, you can't go this way because you'd go across people's houses. You have to go where the street is. Well, I mean, even if it's a... You know, so, I mean, this is the only way to move closer to McDonald's, really. Yeah, exactly. We can, um... We could think of, you know, if the roads, you know, maybe. Right. And maybe, right. maybe there is, you know, a road, there's like a freeway, right? That we live next to or something. Right. And if we can only travel along these paths, right, we're getting closer and we're still getting closer. Right. And now we're going in the direction. Right. But, but for a bunch of that path, we aren't. We sort of aren't moving towards McDonald's. Right. But we're still getting right. closer, right? So one of the things is this is uh, a property of a vector space is that you can talk about the projections. So, you know, if you talk about if you have an arrow pointing this way and you have an arrow pointing this way, then you can talk about the projection of one arrow onto the other, right, at a 90 degree angle. And you end up with the amount of one arrow that's pointing in the direction of another arrow. This is a thing you can do with, um, uh, like, inner product and stuff like that on, on a vector space, which is part of what Word2Vec is getting you. Uh, but one of the issues is also, 
this is two-dimensional. Right. Um, you could imagine three-dimensional that we can, we can sort of get, right? A picture might help, but we, we can see it, right? That if we have this, and maybe McDonald's is on a, you know, maybe there's a, a building that the McDonald's is on the top floor of. This is a penthouse McDonald's. <laughs> right? Because, you know, right? the fancy Mickey B. And, of course, we live, you know, underground in a bunker. <laughs> but we really of, want chicken nuggets. <laughs> we're scared of interacting with other people, but we're going we're gonna to brave it. <laughs> and so we would have to go up out of our bunker, right, to go onto the surface. And then we'd have to go over and follow the roads. And then we'd have to get in the elevator. We'd have to go up to get to McDonald's, right? Right. We'd have to take this, like, super weird path, all of which while getting closer... But there are many directions that we could take that if we start moving in this direction, we're right. getting closer and closer. But once we hit this point, if we keep moving in the same direction, we then get further and further. Right. Except this point here is closer to McDonald's than we were originally. Than we started, right? Than we started, and yet we are getting further away. Right? So there's the the blue line that gets us there and the blue line that gets us there. Right, except, sorry, let me... Because us to McDonald's. The A line is, is longer than the B line. Right. But, but we're moving away from McDonald's now. We're getting further away. Right. I, I, you could imagine how if we scale this up dimensions... So... Instead of being able to move up and down, left and right, and forward and back. Uh, Becky know, says this is what DoorDash one. is for. This is what DoorDash is for, right? <laughs> They're always closer to McDonald's than we are, right? <laughs> but if you... Because um, they're outside the bunker. Pop this up a dimension, then... Uh, you know, or, or more up to 300 dimensions. Which is what we said they are using. There are then, from whatever point we have, 300 directions that we can move in. And any of those directions, we could be moving further or closer to the goal word. Right. But, it, it, like, like, pinkest is closer to world than, oh, what's another word that's below it? Uh, pinkest was two hundred and something. Let's get down there. Pinkest was let's see. Well, ninety nine is network. Pinkest was two hundred and seventeen. Look at this worldly is lower, <laughs> right? Or, or nationwide <laughs> landscape is lower, right? So, pinkest, but I like ghastliness. Is closer to world. Then, what you said, worldly is really Van, worldly. worldly. Yeah, it is. Worldly was like ninety. Worldly was yeah. Uh, here, hundred and one. But all those are like look. The like worldly is twenty two point three three, and they're all like in the twenty twos, right? So they're all yeah. so close. So they are, you know, very close to each. They are not necessarily close to each other. Right. No. Their each otherness has nothing to do with it. Just how us and this point over here are not necessarily close to each other. I love right? these. But, but it's closer to McDonald's than we are. Right. But this is all... Because the way that, you know, English works, we end up with a bunch of words next to each other all the time, that it just happened to be that this relationship is formed. And so, you know, one thought could be that the data set he used was probably wrong for this game, and maybe it should have been, you know, something else. But you could imagine if he had used, like, fantasy novels. Right. Like, you, you'd get word associations that, like, actually wouldn't exist in the way that we speak day to day, but they well, definitely the speak exist in fantasy right. novels. Well, the way, <laughs> you know, the way we the way speak, most it would be speak, fine. You know. 
<laughs> it would make it easier for me. Dunghill, there's a word for you. All right, so let's try the new word all and see, uh, new semantal and see what we get. So I need a new, uh, I need a new tab. Here, new tab. Come over here because it should have changed over just now. And all right. Here's a new one. Yesterday's word was world. So where do we want to start? Let's just start with something. And now we're just going to go as far away as we can get until we get two greens. That's going to be our strategy. I think so. Okay, so let's start with machine. Oh, 1185. That's not too bad for a start. Okay, but we it's not it's not green. So let's go. What's really far away from that? Football. Or is it? Or, or is it, right? Because football and machine are both nouns. They are. Right? So you could have we, a football kicking machine. You could. At, in right? the news even. So what would be um would are we I wonder if he updates it with current news articles or should we be picking no. things that have been it's, in the it, news recently? It, <laughs> no, it's a set uh it's a set database from two thousand and something. Oh good grief. All right, so what else? Pizza. Two thousand seventeen. Oh, pizza was terrible. Okay, 2016. So. 2016. Oh, that's I don't even remember 2016. That was a terrible year. No. Okay, so um, let's see. Then what about um, what else is a good? Uh, what's totally different? We've got a food, a sport, a. Uh, so we should right, put so a this verb. Is, this is where I would go with some, you know, adjective or noun. Happiness. You know, fast. Happiness is terrible. Uh, fast is not bad. Fast. 22. Okay, still not green. Uh, the, but the the thousandth word is twenty five, so we're not even in the top thousand now. Um. Uh. So what about? Uh, let's pick an animal. Horse. Nope. Um. Come on, Marimba Pirate, give us a word. Um. What about, now uh, I have found that a lot of them are superlatives. I don't know. They were saying they hadn't found that, but um, I just usually type random things until I find something. So far, machine is still the, oh, fast is still the best one. Um, but does that mean anything? Is it the best or is it just not as horrible as the others, but still not any good? I mean, so, I mean, the literal answer is that fast has the highest similarity to the goal word. Of the ones whatever, we've picked. Whatever no, similarity is means is still up for debate, right? Let's right. Say, you know. Street is terrible. So, um, computer. Marimba Pirate is offering us some. No. Twitch. Twitch. Okay. That's a verb. No. Uh, so I think the capital T and the lowercase t will be two different words. And I don't think, well, it's better capital, but the but the final word is always going to be lowercase. So that's important to remember. Um, so uh, machine, uh, fast. Um, so fast is an adjective. Um Quickly is like fast and better than fast. Quickly? And... Um, so... Speedy's um, even better. Speedy's in the green. At 411. So it's almost halfway okay. to the to the key word. Um... So we so need to get. You could do something green. quickly, you could do something speedy, you could do something efficiently. Okay. No, efficiently is terrible. Okay, let's not take it then. Um, <laughs> that's cheating. But you then. Fish. How do you spell efficiently? 
I got it first try. Efficient. I can never spell that word. It is not terrible. You spelled it wrong. Apparently I did. <laughs> did I oh, quick. Okay. Uh, Marimba Pirate says quick. Quick is even better. Good job. Um... So now we have, obviously, now I here now is where we get, where I think we have a trend. So I think we're looking at this going, okay, um, words for doing something quickly, speedy, efficiently. Do we now go fluffiest? <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> hippogriff. <laughs> Hashtag hippogriff. Uh, dash. <laughs> I think so. So no, we gosh, started terrible. with like human and humanity on, on the previous word, and we right. started thinking of going more general um, and that sort of thing. This seems to be being like this seems to be going, you know, maybe more specific or something. Like like you can do something speedy, but you can do something quick. But you can be quick. But an action can be quick also. Right. So those are all directions that you could take it. Right. Um. She says, what did you write, David? What did I write? I put... I mean, how did he spell efficiently? I, Is that what you mean? I just spelled it wrong. Did we write polysemous? <laughs> I, just, I just didn't type the I, and it took it. So, quick, fast, um, speed. No, um, that's not as good as speedy. Speed, um, But speed is like a noun, and things can right. have speed. It's not things an adjective. Quick. Right. quick. Right. What are, okay, if we're thinking, you know, maybe let's metagame it. If we're thinking of news articles, what would be words that would be used in a similar context to quick? Um, um, know, would like active. No, that shouldn't work. Quick. If, if someone was quick to act, they could be like impulsive. Impulsive. That doesn't work if that's you know. not good. But also, um, speed. how about impulsively? No, that was worse. Um, how about promptly? Prompt. Prompt is is five hundred and twenty three. So that's that's got a twenty nine similarity. But prompt, prompt. is not quick. It is. If you're prompt, you're quick, you're... Well, a, a um, response... Kind of, <laughs> a a, a that response that is quick <laughs> would be prompt. But if you are quick, you are not, you know. Okay, Becky says impulse. Nope. Cocaine, she says. <laughs> Efficacy. Cocaine is terrible. <laughs> quick say, right. okay. Piano weed says run. run. Well... That's not terrible, Which, but it's not green. Run makes sense for speedy and quick and fast, but doesn't make sense for prompt, necessarily. And prompt is even better than those. This is and what so, I keep getting the trap of so thinking prompt I, is better. I, I think the way to look at it is not to imagine what the final word is, but to look at the words that you have. Right. And rather than thinking of them in a line, right? So actually, I can, I can do this, right? So instead of thinking of your guesses... As approaching the goal, right, in a line like that, you have to think of, like, it, a, a cloud of your guesses in, like, space, and they're all sort of around it, right, where, you know, this is your goal. Okay. And so, so we have, um, you know like fast and speedy and things like that. But like that could maybe be one path that you could come in with. Right. Okay. And maybe that's following these guesses, but then prompt probably has stuff behind it that also gets it in. And that's probably one path. Right. And so like run makes sense as a guess, but we can see here that it wasn't that close. Okay. So maybe run is out here. Right, but it's still going to be on one of those paths, sort of inwards. So he's right? so we probably don't want sports freeway. actions because they would be, you know, sort of out here. Right. 
right? Prompt makes me think, you know, the response was prompt, right? Right. Or, I think or of but I think of it as being on time to a meeting or on time to work or on time right. to... Right, you, you, were, you were prompt, right? You, you, you right. showed up, like, on time. Is that a word? Freeway, he's saying freeway. He says Amazon Prime. <laughs> uh, DoorDash. We're still on DoorDash. <laughs> um, prompt. So, so um, freeway is also, you know, out here in in the cloud of ideas. It's going to be speedy. Because, yeah. But because not. freeway makes sense for speedy, but does not make sense for prompt. So it's maybe not on that path, but it's not going to be... Right. Okay. What so about as some... you make the guesses, you can sort of try to build this cloud and maybe center in on. What it. about something like alarm? Like your alarm clock makes you prompt, or you could I wouldn't think that would be close, but let's guess it. No, not too close. Because um, alarm and prompt don't really. It's not. And really alarm quick. and prompt, alarm and quick, and alarm and speedy don't necessarily go together. Right. Right. Um, but these are not in the top 20 either, right? We're still not to the yeah, 800s. Right. We're, so we're none far. of these are within 20 of the close word, of the right word. Yeah, no, we're, we're still, you know, 477 away. Right. So, um, yeah, clock. But of course, all that means is, is that we are, you know, around the goal Right, if we have this sort of 3D space that we're thinking of, or 300D space rather, or th yeah, 300 dimensional space, right? But we can think of it in 3D space, and it sort of simplifies it a little. That we are, you know, there's this sphere around it, right? And we're sort of out, and we're trying to get into that sphere, which and is that the 20 sphere mark. is going to be whatever the distance of, like, 51 is, or 25, or you could pick whatever, you know, similarity, right? So that the sphere that contains a thousand <laughs> words has she radius says, 25. She says lactose intolerant. <laughs> it can't be two words for a pirate. Um, alarming. Okay, um, so... But there's also like a prompt, like you a writing prompt or a, um, something that that um, there uh, is. But I would think that moves like, you to do you something. Know, prompt and like question would be somewhat close to each other. Well, should right? we try that? Let's so see. If prompt is here. At least on this, we don't have a limit. No questions. Terrible. But question, while it's close to prompt, is further from the answer. Right, right, right. Right? Yeah, and prompt still isn't inside that sphere of 20. And prompt is, options. yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, so what about time? Did we try that? No. Nope, time isn't green. So if, you know, if someone was to do something and they did something quickly... Right? Right. And efficiently. Then, and speedy. Uh, efficiently, speedy, uh, they did it quick, they were prompt, they were on time, they were, you know, present, maybe, or something like that, right? They were... That's where I sort of go to think. Is, like, what else would be... If someone was prompt, or if a group was prompt to act... What would be another word that we could use in describing that sort of thing? So someone well, else. Well, they could... were responsible. They're uh... responsible. Do you think that's a good choice? I don't know if it's a good. No, it's twelve. You know. Okay, so we're not down that sort of thing. Maybe it is actually about how quickly they did it, right? What are other words that would describe how? Um, you know. Okay. Uh, urgent. Urgent. Um, oh, that's not too bad, but urgently. No, urgently is worse. Efficiently, speedy, quick, prompt. 
and there's going to be some other path, right, that we haven't even vaguely considered that's over here. Clearly. Right? <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> and so we need urgently. some, you know, maybe now we, we go off on another tangent, right? Right, so okay. So prompt isn't even close, maybe there's some other path we could take to get to it. Okay. Oh, clearly there is. So, um, but the question is, how different a thing do you try then? Do we try, like, vacation or, or work? So, I think one thing is that you're mixing up games... Right. The uh -huh. goal of this game is not to get it in the least amount of guesses. The no, no, I realize to get to the answer. Right, Wordle, you want to minimize the number of guesses because that's Correct. sort of the point. But here, Correct. you should just guess everything. Right. You should just everything right. that you think of. You should just guess it. And I usually do that, and it looks terrible, and I hate getting two hundred guesses. But yeah, um, no. and Marimba Pirate says she. Um, and Piano Weed says, has the list been made in advance or is word to vec doing calculations right now to determine the closeness of these words? Has um, the similarity list been made in advance? You could, so again, it is not a list because that implies that there is a discrete order to them. No, this I mean the list that we, like, like at the end, it'll let us look at the list of the thousand most similar words. Well, that. Is that list already made? list already maybe. exists yes that list is whatever word he picks as the goal that list is then you know he looks at all of the words within a sphere and then does that so that list yes, in a sense, is already made. He's sort of doing a lookup to determine what it is. Like, he still has to do something to get the list, but the, it's sort of already made, yeah. I but mean, he that, doesn't but, do the lookup after we play, right? It's, he does The lookup has already been done. It would depend on implementation. That wouldn't so really... Our guesses are being measured against that list, is what he says. In he's a asking. sense, yeah. Yeah, I think they have to be. Um. Yeah, okay, your, your so guesses oddly, are being measured about how close they are to the the goal, and that is the same thing that that list comes from. So yeah, oddly, um, tardy was in the top thousand, but late was not. Um, tardy, tardy. But it is a little further. But it was not a good one in the top thousand. It was lower, but it was still in there. Still in there. Um. So it seems like time is part of the concept, at least in the lower levels. In the pinkest hippogriff levels, time is a concept. Because seriously prompt is at the hippogriff level. So, um, uh, oh, I guess it is. It is. So I, I'm not sure that it has anything to do with speed or quickness well, or time. Well, no, or... except it isn't. It is in the ranking, but it isn't in the similarity. Because in the similarity, Hippogriff was like 22. Yeah, but all the ones and it, were, and at right? this scale, it's very, you know, 22 and 29, there's a but huge this one, difference. But last one, the thousandth word was like at 22, 39 or something. And this one, the thousandth yeah, nearest so word the, is 25. So, so we are within and, the thousand. And since the nearest word has a similarity of 73 yeah. instead of 69... Maybe this list is this, you know, sort of space around the goal. You know, the amount of words around it is sort of denser in some sense, right? There are more words that are closer to this goal word <laughs> than the word world. <laughs> I'm typing in all your suggestions, you guys. Bagpiper. No, very slow. <laughs> well, Accompanist, also slow. <laughs> Airplane. <sighs> right, so I would think that it would be somewhat of an adjective, somewhat describing how an action or reaction takes place, right? But that's okay. my idea. Okay, so let's try... If we have speedy, quick, and prompt, that's what I think it would be. Okay, so think of another one. Hurry. 
He is the English major. Uh, hurried? I did that. Hurried. Oh, hurried. Right, okay. so maybe rushed? No. Uh, hurried is in there. Which yeah. is, you know. Hasty. Oh, well That's done, good. Piano Weed. Well done. Hasty. Nice. Hasty. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're in the nine. Now we're, you know, we're only like less than a hundred away from the final word. Um, well done. Um, so, hasty. Wow. Careless. Okay. Okay, not as good, but but uh, maybe the concept of there, right? of being like you know just so in a hurry that you're not being um, efficient or careful or <sighs> hasty. Hasty is a good word too. Um, hastily. Nope, and that one was terrible. Go figure. Because you are hasty, but you do something hastily. And right. So the, the context in which you use those words is different. So you can be hasty, you can be speedy, you can be quick, be prompt, be careless. Be careless. But you can't be hastily. Can't be hastily. Um, so you could be mistaken, she says. Mistaken? No. Um, pudding. <laughs> I think pudding might be going in the wrong direction, <laughs> although it is quite tasty. And instant pudding. Maybe instant. Instant. Instantly. Instantaneous. It's none of those things. Um, but I'm hasty pudding. I'm oh, I see. <laughs> hasty pudding. <laughs> there's hairless, uh, and there's hasty. Right. So, like, what else gets us, you know, Careless. the idea that we are, like, like rushing through something, but... And causing, yeah. perhaps, damage by doing that, right? Um, I think of careless and hasty as being things that result in a, a an unfortunate result. So, but now you're taking it too far. Well, I think out. you have to take uh, it like, farther, because we're still 80 words away. That's right? true. I did try impulsively. I tried that down here. I had impulsive and impulsively was way down here. Impulsively is down here. Um, I mean, we're still 80 words. Newtony. <laughs> hairless. Okay, I'm thinking it's not hairless or jello. Uh, so I'm thinking you. Ha it has to go farther in some direction. Uh We've bounced into the sphere now, but we're still in one of the little clouds that's closer. Um, spontaneous. Spontaneous. No. Did you try that one? Yeah. It wasn't. I feel like we have to try on this official game all the things people say. Um, otherwise, it's cheating. Um, so, uh, what do you call it? Like, if somebody is... Um, so what would they call somebody who made, like, decisions very quickly and, and sloppily, maybe sloppy? Okay. Yeah, see, Sloppy's so that's good. going in the right direction. Careless, sloppy, hasty. <laughs> Careless and hasty equals hairless. You hear a pupper. How do you hear a pupper? I don't hear a pupper. I didn't my hear microphone, pupper. maybe. Uh, my microphone picks up everything. Um... Uh, nanosecond. I think that's too long a word, frankly. Um, okay, between sloppy and hasty, I'm uh, but but slapdash, <laughs> yes, yeah. Well, that's that's between careless and sloppy. There. Yes, that's between careless and sloppy. You're right about that. See, and then I get puzzles like this one today, where it really is going in an absolute progression. It is out, these words make complete sense to me, the progression they're making. Right? Sometimes so, they don't these, seem to make sense, but this totally seems to make sense to me. 
these words make sense because, I mean, partly you're guessing words that make sense, but there are words that might not make as much sense that are close that we haven't guessed. Right? That are fit in the middle here. Yeah. That are fit in the middle here. There's still hundreds of words between these. Well, true, true, because there's at least a hundred words here and there's another hundred here. Yeah. And yeah, so there's... You're right. You know, so I think sometimes you can sort of like, you know, randomly end up with a guess that, um, you know, if you have the direction that you're following into the goal, right, all of the right. guesses we've been making sort of, we could see how they fit, right? But there's still, you know, 300 dimensions of space that we could be moving in, each of which are going to have a direction where the words there make sense, but you could just bank a weird one over here. And be like, this word doesn't fit. And it's like, well, it's only because you're putting them in the list like this that it does. Uh, what what we sense. aren't seeing is the similarity metric between the words to each other. Right? Right. Which in a one-dimensional list like this, hasty, sloppy, careless, prompt, we think that careless and prompt are very close because they are only off by three similarity. Right? Right. But if we have the goal, we could have careless here and prompt here, and they could be off by three, and right. they are off of each other by six. Right. right. And this only gets worse and worse and worse as you go up in dimensions, dimensions, right? You, if you have right. three words, right, well, there's a lot of different directions that those could be from each other, and they could right. be pretty far away. Right, in 300 dimensions, that makes a big difference. That's true. You're so smart. That's why we have you. Yeah. Rush, okay. Rush is a good, good option. No, or not. How about rushed? Nope. Um... We we used rushed back at forty eight. We're on already on sixty something. What's another word that you would use rapid if you dash. were saying someone? <laughs> I would not use rapid dash. Was hasty, right? If you um, were hasty to do that, you were like impatient. You were you were um. Oh, no, but there is yeah. a word. Well, impatient. Yeah. did you, We used that already, though, didn't we? Yeah, we tested that. Impulsive. Um, uh, no, we didn't use impatient. Um, oh, I, I did that. But, um, no, uh, you were, uh, what is that word? It's, um, and see, this is a more obscure word that I think it's not going to be. Uh, tailgate. <laughs> Rapid. Rapidly. So we need, um, I think w when you're stuck like this, uh, okay, so, so one other, you know, sort of consequence of this being a vector space that may be able to help you locate it is that we could think of, um, you know, a two-dimensional vector space, and we could think of a word, and if that word was king, right? Right. We have the arrow that's pointing towards king. We could think of how much of the arrow that's pointing towards man and how much of the arrow that's pointing towards royalty are pointing in the direction of, of king. Right? How much does man... Um, how much closer does man get you to king and how much closer does royalty get you to king? You know... We're thinking of this in this sort of big space. We have hasty, sloppy, slapdash, you know, careless. We want to find... Maybe we can find another direction that would get us to our word, but actually isn't the direction we're following, right? Right. right here, what's, what's one of these other arrows that we could do? Okay. What's, you know... So, hasty, you know... If something gets you to messy. Okay. So right. Messy. Ooh, good grief. Right? Excellent guess. So, so if you did something hastily, or if you were hasty to do something, that thing might end up being messy. Okay. Right. Well, now we only right. have 20 words in there. 
But it's not going to be, like, dirty. Like, dirty is not going to be a good guess. No. Right? Even though dirty and messy are close, dirty has nothing to do with something being hasty because... Right? So, the word that we want has a component of speed. Right. Has a component of low quality. Right. Has, is going to have a component of, you know, uh, something else, right? Um, we only really see those two. But it, it's going to have, you know, some... Uh, any word that we pick is going to have a list of 300 numbers, each one sort of some arbitrary uh, component of it that's going to make it up, right? So here we can see that the speed component and the low quality component are very large for our word, right? Messy. Makes sense. Okay. What sort of... What else would get us there? Okay. Um, okay. But, like, it isn't dirty. So, so, but so what if it has to do with... She did say, not... yeah, illegible was not high, but so then I think maybe it's not, like, but maybe scrawl or what scribble or... But maybe those are illegibility and so we should like, ele go Like, illegible, that way. unintelligible makes sense if we only had messy. Right. Right? You're thinking of, okay, well, writing could be this, or... Well, I'm thinking we have hasty, this, we have sloppy. We have hasty, hasty sloppy. sloppy. makes sense. But we have off. quick and speedy and um, hurried. We which do, means that but... it needs to be something about doing it quickly. We do, but the messy things are all bigger than the quick things. That's yes, true. they're doing it quick, but it's really ending up messy. I mean, the, the low quality but... is a higher component than the speed quality. Uh, that is true, but illegible has basically no component of being fast, right? Chaotic. Yeah, no, neither does that. Chaotic doesn't have an idea of it being right. It, it's there. That's a direction that gets us into it. Chaotic, but that's coming um... from another part. Okay, so politics. I, I, yeah. I even tried failure. Um, okay, what do we think of something that's like low quality, like say some cheap plastic thing that you get, as opposed to some quality craftsman thing you get? I mean, there's like disposable finger painting <laughs> politics. <laughs> um, but that's not gonna. But those aren't hasty. I'm politics isn't hasty. It's hasty. very deliberate. Um, no, it's can, messy. <laughs> you can be um, hasty and deliberate. Um, but what do we think of as... Uh, um, we think of something that's low quality. We think of it as being cheap. But I think of that as being... Um, I think of that as being inexpensive. That's obviously part of this. Well, so in, in Marimber Pirate, right? Right. Is, is pointing out, right? The faster you write, the more illegible it is. Yes. And the faster you talk, the more unintelligible it is. Yes. But that isn't... Um, I mean, sloppy, slapdash, those things are, yeah. That isn't um, the same... Just because there is a direction that you could take that gets those words to be close together doesn't mean that that is the direction that this semantic similarity metric is using, which is right. the problem with the game, right? It, it, one of the problems that makes it, not problem, I guess, the, the difficulty, the thing that makes it very hard, is that it isn't using definitions of the words in the same way that we want to use them. Right. Which makes it not, um, you know, makes it difficult, makes it hard to guess what the words would be because it, uh, it doesn't work the way we think it should. But mumble, I don't think it's going to have cheap on the path to it. Um, right, and so we can you can sort of think of like okay, if I have this guess, does this you know fit? You should always guess it. Or you should always type it in as a guess because it it definitely right. Um, Except that we're in the wordle mode of thought where the fewer guesses is better. Right, right? and that's not. Um, and especially if you're playing it on your phone where you're typing it with your finger, it gets really old. Yeah. <laughs> that's where you want to check so, this box so that you're not putting in the capitals. 
is that I wonder if, if you're typing it on your phone, if using the um, autofill, right, type a sentence where you would put in the word messy, but then delete the word messy and see what the predictive text gets you. Right. And I never right? use predictive text. Right. You could check the predictive text and see what word it comes up with. And maybe one of those would be closer. Right. Do you have predictive text on your thing, Marimba Pirate? Throw that on, put messy and see what it gives you. Because what we really want is the word that comes after messy. <laughs> but after messy in what direction? Exactly. Like, I know. Exactly. After sloppy. So, so from sloppy, sloppy to messy. Sloppy Joes. Sloppy Joes. Uh, sloppy Joes right. are messy. We can take sloppy to messy. Sloppy seconds. Right. Sloppy. And we want to take quick that dot. And we want to take, you know. Cheap. We want cheap. Sloppy and messy are going to go here. We've got quick and we did like speedy. Yeah. Here. And that's going to go here. And we want to see where those lines intersect. They intersect at cheap. And that's going to be our goal. <laughs> but two lines don't Entropy. necessarily right, intersect at a point in higher than two, right? So you get the whole... <laughs> We're solving a linear system of equations in 300 dimensions, but we actually don't have the variables or the coefficients or the, you know... I know, I know. And, you know, I think this was a fun idea that he's, you know, saying, let's try and see how this um, is going to work. Yeah. But... And one of the, uh, the, one of the descriptions he, he gives where he was talking about why he made it was that he saw Wordle and he was like, oh, this would be really cool. Um, but then he thought of doing this with movies um, right, because right. IMDb has an entire database of right. where actors are related to each other, and you would guess, you know, actors or movies, and try to get to a goal actor or movie. Right, but, but he, he said, like, I movies. don't have an interest in in movies, <laughs> so I found this and did it with this instead. But he has an interest in unrelated words. Now, marimba pirate type. Um, I really need to clean my room. It's so, and see what it predicts. Or I, I really need to buy a better quality thing because this one is so. Yeah. Tacky. And I think because Tacky. the database is news articles, yeah. maybe thinking of it in that sense too can help. Okay, right? so but news if, from uh, 2016, right? So yikes. If the solution to a problem was it was literally know, the most yikes year for news. So um true. But I mean, just because the database is 2016 doesn't mean all the articles were written in 2016. Oh, true. I hope not. Right? Okay. It, it would have been Thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of articles. One would think. Um, well, three billion words, right? Three billion words used, yeah. Inefficient. Oh, I would... so close. Oh, okay. Inefficient is a good one. Semantal. <laughs> So predi <laughs> predictive text is cute, pretty, and comfy. <laughs> That's what it suggested for your... Has it seen your room? <laughs> um, inefficient. Um, ineffective. I think we did that one already, didn't we? No, but it's up there. Um, politics. She's just saying politics. <laughs> well, that would have been in the news a lot in 2016. Um, inefficient. <sighs> um, oh my gosh. Bad. Yeah, right? It probably <laughs> is. No. <laughs> it prob I mean, that is the kind that, of word that it picks. It frequently Bad's picks. on there. But, I mean, so is it then worst? No. But worst might be it, because... Awful? No. 
Inefficient. Inefficient. Um, <laughs> I see inefficient Trump. No. Dang. We could do it with a capital. So he, <laughs> he censors it. Um, uh, I tried tacky. <laughs> Um, inefficient. Um, but there's still ten words between inefficient and the target word. That is true, but that does We're not still, necessarily mean that that we need all ten of them, right? We need all ten because, of course, messy to inefficient. There's still it's ten, ten words. words. Right, but but that doesn't mean there's ten words between messy and inefficient. But it's but it's funny because there's like a hundred and sixty words between sloppy and messy. But there aren't necessarily, right? Well, there's going to be on the list. There's the going to be on his list. Sloppy and messy could be the could be the closest to to each other, right? Sloppy could be the closest word to messy, right? But we aren't looking at how far apart messy and sloppy are. We're looking at how far away from some third party word they are. Right. Right? That's this is the, the, the triangle picture again. Right. That it's gonna be. Right. You can have, you know, these words that are uh, red. I don't think it's gonna be any of those political words. They are all sloppy and inefficient, but they're they're not they're not going to be the word. And it isn't going to be a word that. It's not going to be a noun. I don't think. I think it's going to be an adjective. No, it'll be an adjective, and Retail. it'll be a. Um, <laughs> it isn't going to be a word that is described by inefficient. It's going to be a word that is used in the similar context to inefficient. Right. So if you say something right. is really inefficient, inefficient. you're you're, gonna, you're saying it doesn't else work well. Could it's, you say it is? Um, it it but is. But inefficient does not actually mean it doesn't work well. It just means it uses a lot of certain resources. Well, it means it uses right? more energy than it produces. Right? It's not it's not well, a good not use of resources. It uses, it uses more energy than it could use. So a, 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 an extremely large diesel engine is right. inefficient. But it works very well. Right. Right? There's a difference. Now, inefficiency means it doesn't produce the output that it should for the amount of, of stuff that's put into it. It doesn't increase as good of an output as it could if it were more efficient. But it can still produce a large amount of output. Or a very yeah. good Yeah, oh, output. absolutely. Right, right, yeah. Right? You can have a process that's inefficient, but actually the output is extremely good. Like a Rolls Royce or whatever. The out the process is extremely inefficient because they do a bunch of it handmade or whatever. Or a Bentley, I forget which one. The process is inefficient, but the Wait, output is very good. I put some mantle that says, I don't know that word. That was one of the ones Piano Weed suggested. <laughs> um, uh, um, okay, so... Inefficient, so, um, all right. But, but here we do have a component of messy and sloppy. Yeah. So it is going to be something that is, is both quick and resource and dirty. intensive. Dirty, we didn't try dirty. dirty. Re resource intensive. Yeah, we did two at number 67 back there. What's a, Okay, if I wanted ago. a word that was a quick and dirty solution for a problem, what would that, what word would you use? Cheat. <laughs> Cheats are generally <laughs> extremely efficient. But they're quick and, and dirty. And very clean. And they are usually efficient, but they're usually quick and dirty. Um, uh, is it something like... Corruption, that's a noun. Um, corruption doesn't have any element of speed, though. No. It's not usually done to make things faster. Manufactured. Well, and of course, 
our word doesn't necessarily need to have anything to do with being fast, but getting faster leads us towards this word. <laughs> Not necessarily going faster, but words that describe. She says light switch rave. Light switch rave. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, cheat. I did not put in that switch. So you can have light switch rave. Uh, um, oh my gosh, but this is not going to be like productive. You put productive? Oh, yeah. I put productive and it was 800. Yeah. Um, Unproductive. I thought I did put unproductive. It'll tell me if I did. Oh, that's between hasty and inefficient. So one other Ooh. thing is how about lazy? If you just put oh. efficient, uh, I did that way back here. We did that ages ago. We spelled it wrong. Remember? Oh yeah. It was way down here. Wait, efficient. Uh huh. How'd you spell it? With an I. E F F I C I E N T. I don't think it's the way down there. Oh, I have I efficiently. I have efficiently. Put in efficient. E F F I C I E N T. So that's somewhere between hasty and unproductive. So that's really close to it, too. Right? So inefficient is closer, but efficient is closer. So I think we're describing a process. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, right. and we just put manufactured, and that was... Um, but it, but the word isn't going to be a process. The word is going to be a use that describes a process in a similar context than <laughs> efficient and inefficient. Right. Right. So it isn't actually going to be the process itself, or words that have to do with processes. It's going to be words that are used to describe processes. Okay, so if, well, mean, we tried efficiency. We already put that. We tried efficiency, uh, but a process isn't efficiency. A process is efficient. I think I did productivity already. It, but a process could be productive. I think I, I did that at 103. It was 34. Productive is 802. Yeah. We already did that. No. That was my guess, 103. Um, productive. Uh, and unproductive was higher. Um, by 140. Mm -hmm. Um, process. Um. Well, we have a lot more green ones than I usually have. I don't know that we're any better at this, but, um, productive. We did productive. Um. And part of the difficulty is here... Uh, so in Wordle, once you make several guesses, even once you make two or three, it's significantly easier to brute force in your head the list of words. But since right. it, because it's it's going to be five letter words, and right? Because there's a going list. To be words with certain letters, and so you can sort of think of the the dictionary of words you have in your head, or that like you know, right? And it's going to be the most of them. Way. Right. But here, you, you have to not think of... Like, you have to think of so much more. Did we do um, inexpensive? I think the, the problem is too unconstrained. Um, right. So the problem being trying to guess a word with this as your metric is too broad. It could be specified more. Um, if he had a better way of visualizing what where these words were, um, that would make it way better. Yes. Because if we could tell... Because technically, our word is going to be some amount of in-between messy and quick. Right. Right, it's actually going to sort of be in the middle. We're we're going to have messy and quick and our word, and there's going to be some in betweenness here. 
right? And if we could tell what that is or see what that is, if he could show it to us, that would, you know, uh, be interesting. We'd sort of need a oh, nice try. projection down from that. Disorganized, right? That's that's one. Um, one. Uh, so one of the things I thought was if, in addition to his news articles, if he had a thesaurus, even if it was an online one, and they don't tend to be very good, um, right. if that would, as part of the database, if that would lead you to a more expected list of words. If he used what instead of just a thesaurus, a thesaurus, which is, which the point of a thesaurus is to tell you words that are similar to each so, other. So word to vec is trying to get, um, right. Similar words that are used in a similar context. Uh, so a thesaurus would, would get you good replacements and would show you words that are similar to each other. Um, but if you put in a thesaurus, that might make it, I think, I think maybe you're right. Putting in like a thesaurus to the data set would make it better for this game. Um, I, I think it would, it would just make, make it... the game more of what people are expecting, right? It would just make it what the results are more expecting. expected or what I'm expecting. I am people. Okay. I am well, people. You are, you are a person. I am you are a not people. Representing all people. I am humanity. I am mankind. I am world. I am pinkest. There's I'm not pinkest. Sub- Becky's pinkest. There's the subset, right? You're here. There's people. This is different. You are, right? It is as in belonging, not is as in definition. Uh huh. Right? Uh-huh. Don't get me going on the definitions of the words they've chosen. Yeah. Um,. Inefficient. Um, I am an English major. You are correct. This I'm I'm gonna go that David Turner is probably not an English major. That's just gonna be my out there guess, way out in the distance. What? Well, say it again. That David Turner is not an English major. I'm gonna no. say he might like reading. He might probably be a person who really enjoys reading and words but I don't think that he is an English major. Um, inefficient. Um, no. We already did sloppy. Um, inefficient. Sloppy. Uh, what do you call something else? What's another word for inefficient? Or do we need another word for inefficient? Or do we need something that is inefficient? We are going to have very different word choices. And I'm not sure he made any of these choices, right? I don't know that he made any choices. Right, you I, are cutting out a little lazy. bit for me. Oh, am I now? I'm sorry. It's probably just the way I'm I'm mumbling. Okay. Um, can you, you hear me now? Is it okay now? Yes. Yeah. I think uh, your gate's a little low. Or yeah. high? I don't know. D- Discord tends to do that to me. It gets tired of listening to me after a while. Um, the uh, my brain is you're welcome. <laughs> my brain is uh, cutting out. That's the problem. I, at this point, see, this is the thing. So, so here's the thing, David Turner. I find that at this point, the game isn't fun anymore. I so. Agree. You know, I was having fun 20 minutes ago when we were on speedy, chaotic, quick, prompt, careless. But at this point, I'm thinking, oh, come on, we're 10 words from the end. And and one of my friends that plays this all the time, who is a, a software developer, gets to like 996, 998 constantly and gives up because she can't stand doing it for one minute longer to try and get that two more words. I agree. Play a different game. <laughs> no, no, I agree, but I'm sure that I'm sure that isn't the answer he would want to hear. I, I you wouldn't I'm think. Sure, it is ineffectual. Well, that's a good word, Marimba Pirate. Inept. That's not a bad one. No, oh, yeah. Well, it's not that great either, but it's not bad. Incompetent. Are you looking at a at a thesaurus? Incompetent. 
bad. Bad is better. Faulty. Not bad. Feeble. Nope. Faulty was not bad. This is where I also always pull up a, uh, a thesaurus, usually. Uh, it doesn't usually help me, but I usually do it. <laughs> um, dang it. I don't think that's going to be it either. Dang, dang it. Nope doesn't know that. It says on here you can let it, you can use a phrase, but you really can't. I have never used a multiple word uh, um, thing and had it work. I think that's a uh, there is a similar uh, phrase to Vec that exists. Right. But I believe he has used word to Vec and just has included the idea word or phrase. Yeah, and I think that he um, says you can use a word or phrase, but I've tried a couple and, and I've never yeah. been able, it's never worked for me. Now, obviously, I haven't tried every one. I haven't tried 300 billion phrases, and I haven't I tried... I think that he has, in, he uh, has said that, but it, it is a... Misspoke. A, uh, he has misspoken. Misspeak. Misspeak. <laughs> I think he means to say it can be any part of speech. That's a word for really workers bad. that are sloppy, careless, uh, fired. <laughs> Unemployed. <laughs> nope. Uh, um, so there is a uh, paper written from the Technical University at Dresden in Germany about creating a thesaurus using word to vec. Is there? But I cannot find a thesaurus uh, that is made. I did lazy. Forward to vac. <laughs> right. I did right. lazy. Back I want to be here. able to type in a word right and here. I should get the. Lazy was here twenty two. Um, get his. crazy. I don't think it's a mental illness issue. Um, I just feel like I always get to this point and I feel like, yeah, we pretty much covered it. Um, faulty. Faulty is such a good one. I, that was a, I thought that was really going to be it. When you said faulty, I was like, yes, that's it, faulty. But I think things that are faulty are not necessarily Recall. things that are quick. No, that is true. Or hasty. Although, hasty is the better thing. To think although about. as we're getting going here, right, the whole, the speed thing is falling lower and lower. But only because the words that we have successfully guessed are not in that. Right. There's still we'll ten words between inefficient and messy. One of those. All could right. Be a well, speed word. let's guess some other fast words. Uh, so I think hasty is a good one to look at. We that we that went, we went from speedy and quick, but then we got to hasty, and that got us onto you know things not being. Um, right. Yeah, you know, right. getting the messy and stuff like that. Inefficient. And slapdash was a great word, but hasty is even better. Sloppy, productive, slap. Hasty. So. Um, uh, oh, hasty. <laughs> she says you got close enough, you won. I mean, no, because because Sarb will have got even to 998 Sonic. Supersonic. Um, what are things that are fast and... Um, speed racer. That's two words. Um, violation of speed. Whoa. Racing. So while this is not, well, maybe it is, maybe it will help the guess. Um, in looking up, uh, thesaurus on word to vec kind of idea. Uh huh. Um, there is a, a stack overflow post of someone saying that they, they want to train word to vec to. Uh, work better on producing synonyms of adjectives. Okay. Uh, and there's a response that, that sort of sums up 
uh, a thing that says, Our linguistic concept of a synonym is narrower than the similarity reflected in the word positions found by word-to-vec-like algorithms. In particular, what we consider antonyms generally appear as very similar words uh, in word vectors because the words are similar in aspects and contexts in which they appear, only right. contrasting in some specific topic-related ways. So efficient and inefficient are, in our sense, opposite words. Right, but they're very right? close. We see that here. But they're very close. But ignoring like that they're close so in spelling, what they are close feet. in context that they'd be used. Right, but I tried some of the opposites of some of these words, and like productive and unproductive are not that far. Um, ex- I don't think I tried expensive, but I do think we tried quality. Mm-hmm. But remember it's going Oh, to be that's nine ninety nine. look. Quality? No, expensive. Expensive? Yeah, premium. No. Um, here we're almost there, guys. Nine ninety nine. <laughs> expensive. Expensive because I had inexpensive down here, right? So uh, efficient, inefficient, unproductive. We tried productive. Uh, faulty, hasty. Everything's a lie. This game doesn't make sense. Ah, thank you. <laughs> And now I win. Doesn't work. It's a bad game. Careless, so careful. Did we try careful? We'll play Nerdle instead. Right. I love Nerdle. So much fun. Costly. Costly. Yeah, that was it. This is that's two days in a row. Piano Weed has gotten the word. Costly. Costly. 143 guesses. Well done, dude. You're on fire. Okay, wow. so let's see. Here's the uh, that's the closest words. Now we can look at the list. Now we can look at the list. All right, so cumbersome. How is that close to costly? I'm burdensome, prohibitive. Prohibitive is close to costly. Onerous, yes, as well. Inconvenient. I suppose things that are costly so, are inconvenient. What I find very interesting is that costly has one word, expensive, that is 73 similarity. Right. But the next closest one is only 60, or it's 59.65, right. right? Like, it's... Right. Something that's that I don't true. understand, I guess, is why is there such a large space between words? Well, because... Uh, well, although, there, there see, here's the thing... Of well, here's the thing, like pricey down here at 989 should definitely be closer to costly and expensive than cumbersome is. Right. Right? It's very like, much should belongs up there. Um, even even inefficient is an example of costly work habits, right? You are you're inefficient. It is very costly to so employ an inefficient of, employee. If you think of like the context in which they would be used, costly and pricey. I feel like would make sense to be used more in the same context, like like as an actual just replacing the word, or if we're talking about something saying it's costly or pricey, makes sense. Where I can see where inefficient. Huh? She says onerous. Where do you even see onerous? I don't see onerous. Nine seventy three. Oh, onerous. Ineffective. Onerous. I see, but not onerous. And this is hard to maybe this is hard to read. Uh, Problematic. I mean, all those things are... 978. Pricey. Wow. Without the E. Yeah, there are the British spelling of some words included. In the code, there's specifically a separate file that goes through and adds in the British spellings of words as a separate thing because he wanted them to be included. Oh, I said onerous? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think you imagined it. Uh, no, I don't think I said that. I wouldn't say that. I would never say onerous. No, uh, so as an English major, you like <laughs> unlock extra words. It's like English 2. <laughs> it's advanced English 107. That's where um, comparable and... Comparable. <laughs> comparable and 
unaffordable some of those yeah definitely now see had we gone to had we gotten unaffordable uneconomical cost uh you know those kinds of things we would have gotten here much sooner we didn't really have a money aspect at all no but the word at like like piano we just said the word is usually a simple one it really is Usually a simple word. And usually it's very small. <laughs> Rewind the tape. They don't, I, it's not on tape, sweetheart. They don't, they don't use tape anymore. Um, there's a VOD. There's a, there's a VOD, and there will be, it'll be on YouTube. You can listen to the whole hour and whatever again if you want to prove uh, that I said that word. Onericious. Hour and 47 minutes if you want. <laughs> when I'm dead, you'll have a record of my voice talking to David. Um, so had we gone money, um, I swear I put money as a, as a thing earlier in there. I swear that money was one of the things I picked way down there, and it was way down here. I would have thought corruption would be good for costly. Um it's extremely costly to everybody. Cocaine, extremely costly. <laughs> uh, I thought I put money, but maybe I didn't. I usually do put money as a word just to try and see if it's money related. But that doesn't necessarily tell me that it is, but it doesn't look like I did. So what I want to see is what are the actual <laughs> vectors? Right, right. What I want to know, I want to know what the actual vector space structure of this is. I want to know what's the... Of this particular one, right? Well, but of the whole thing. Because remember, these are all working within the same I space. To see if that um, was You're just here. picking a word out of it and then... Chucking, There's word to back there. Chucking darts at a 300-dimensional dartboard. You really are. Um, Which there's a video on throwing darts at a higher-dimensional dartboard as well. Three blue and brown has a video on that, too. <laughs> I don't keep statistics because a leaderboard is not in the spirit of the moment and likely to lead to unpleasant behavior. Play in Hebrew. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm up to playing it in Hebrew. Oh, can I sort my guesses? Click on the number oh. column. That's handy. Oh. Nice, he just added that. Cute. That's good. That's good to know. That kind of lets you see how you. Well, so it was quickly was the one that got us into the speed the thing. And then we started getting heady with power when we had a few greens. And then even though a few more speed things got us lower, we got, woo, we got wow again mm -hmm. with another green. And then we thought, oh, wait a minute. Now we're in bad, bad speed. And that got us into hasty, careless. And then we said, woohoo, this is really huge. Being hasty can be very costly because you're, it is inefficient. So, um, we did, uh, An opera. Could I make an opera of Samantha? <laughs> or could David make a Samantha? Is that what you're asking? Or a vector thing from it? Make a visualization of it. Um, that would be, I mean, challenging in the sense that it's it's a high dimensional thing, so visualizing it is difficult. Um, the way that y you could actually purely visualize it is as lists of numbers. Um, but really what I would like to know is what the 300 basis vectors are. And the way that you would determine that is, 
each word is a list of numbers. Oops. Right? And so you're going to have, you know, some numbers in here. Right? And so I want to know what words have one number that is very large and the rest that are all very close to zero. Um, what are the words that are like that? Because there are going to be words that are very close to whatever the, the, the they're called basis vectors of the vector space would be. And those are going to be the components by which each word is measured. Um, and then you could um, yeah, look at it yeah. that way. Yeah, and I think you'd have to look at, I think you'd have to go through this top thousand words and say, all right, you know, cumbersome and burdensome and prohibitive probably go together where inconvenient and problematic may go together. And I, I mean, you'd have to make judgments. Um, or, or is there like a word to vec thing you can put type them into to see what the relationships are or no because uh, again word to vec being an algorithm um he has selected a database and then trained it on that database if you did this again you would end up i believe with a slightly different um algorithm or right. a slightly a slightly different uh Structure slightly different vector space than he is in. So up could with. you but make a? I'm so, not hundred percent uh, sure on that. So piano weed is asking, could you make a vector space representation of our guesses? <laughs> of our guesses, a picture. N no, because I don't know what. Um, I don't know how far apart from each other they are. Right. I only know how far apart from this word are, and I so I know. Uh, it, in order to make a vector space like as an image, right, vectors having a direction and a magnitude, all I have is a list of magnitudes. I have no clue what direction they're pointing. Right? Right. Because th this, this list of similarities is a list of lengths or distances away. Um, but we don't, you know, we don't know whether or not they are uh, we don't know the direction they are. We don't know where they... Right. Are. Money, I mean, if we... Time. we... We can guess that, but that isn't actually going to be helpful. But if we have we, their... We could guess that for this game based off of what we think, but right. that is not going to necessarily be the same for another game. But if we have their thousand words and the similarity value they gave those words and, and see which ones are our... Like, highlight which ones are our words... Um... I don't know if that helps us. Say it again. Like if we take their list of the thousand words closest to the goal and we you're, highlight you're in that list. Okay. Their if list of. We take their list of the thousand words that are closest to the goal word. Okay. And we highlight the ones that are words we guessed. Sure. Um, some are time based. Some are money based. Some are quality based. Um. I mean, that is... I, I don't know if combining the two lists would help us create some sort of visual, but... So, I... because we know that this ended up being about 300-dimensional... Right. You said time. You said money. There's okay, quality. We need, two, we need 290... Quality, right? We need that many more, and these are not going to be the same necessarily actual dimensions that we're working with, right? Yeah, three... Uh, I found somewhere that... Oh, the... Oh, where did I find that? I should have saved that. And we'd have to do all of that before 4 o'clock tomorrow when it disappears. <laughs> and... What? And Rebecca says, I sound fine. It's a brother problem. Yeah, I think it's a Discord thing. <laughs> yeah, it, I think it's just because we're talking to each other on Discord. He's not listening to me on Twitch. Yeah, so. I am not. I could pull. I could unmute her stream. But then I'd, have a, I'd hear me and I'd have a delay. Um, and that would drive you crazy. 
Yeah, it's just usually easier to talk on Twitch. Twitch gets tired of me after a while, and it goes, God, shut up, woman, and then it <laughs> doesn't want to oh. listen to me anymore. Okay, so he didn't actually do the training as well. Yes, so so if he used word to vec Google News vectors, okay, um, the one that uh, that I found that's labeled that from uh, this, that is a thing that was trained on three billion words, uh, and ends up with three million vectors and is three hundred dimensional. Right. Um. So that is the. You know, the data set he's working with. So he's working off of this word to vec model. Um, so it's got 300 dimensions to it. But I don't know if I could actually get in here and view it. There is a file that is the... Uh, the word to vec thing, but it is also 1.5 gigs. <laughs> That's not that big. It's not, but if you consider it just as lists of numbers. Right. Right, like that. That's a lot of Right. That. Okay, well we're gonna call it we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it here. This was awesome. So much fun, you guys. I'm glad that you joined us. Um I'm gonna put this on this will be on YouTube starting tomorrow and well it has to wait twenty four hours, so it'll it'll be Thursday morning. And then I'll put in the description it will be inefficient and costly. Um, and I will put in the description the links to the various resources that um, we found. And I this is the fastest Samantha I've done. <laughs> Except for the one I got in 17. So not the lowest number of, of guesses, but, but time-wise, this wasn't bad. So, so I'm going to go eat dinner and do some Wordle. It was fun. Let's do it again. Let's, let's, yeah. We should definitely... I, I liked talking to David about stuff and I want him to come and explain more things to us because he is so smart about this stuff. Gosh, I said he should stream his homework because it'll give him an excuse to do it. So uh, yeah. I we'll did watch. Try. It worked out, worked out once. But, yeah. We'll watch if you let us know. We'll absolutely watch you do your homework. What the heck? I always find it fascinating when you explain it to me. I don't always understand it, no, but I always it. find it fascinating. <laughs> Keep us posted. I'll also put um, his the link to his channel in the chat too. Do the Nerdle. Oh yeah, and there's also Nerdle. We should do Nerdle another time and see if we can do that. We'll like race a Nerdle thing and Baby Nerdle and Wordle and oh and then oh, Worldle. Did you do Worldle, Marimba Pirate? There's a Baby Nerdle you can do. David explains it all. Uh, you could do Baby Nerdle. You in the settings. On Nerdle, you can pick Baby Nerdle, the same place you would pick Dark Mode if you wanted to change to Dark Mode, or High Contrast Colors for the colorblind folks in the world. Oh, um, colorblind, imagine. Uh-huh, and they have that. And then um, you can pick... Uh, Allow world. commutative and... You can do non-commutative Yes, you can do non-commutative. It's harder, right? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. You can do... Um, yeah, there's so Which much... That's so funny because that actually okay. Never mind. I'm right, <laughs> right. Next time, next time, next week, Nerdle. <laughs> we'll do Nerdle Tuesdays. All right. So, um, thank you guys for watching and for hanging out with us, and um, you two mm -hmm. for commenting. Let's get other people commenting next time. Yay! Throwing out words out there. Did you ask the Wordle? You did the Wordle, but I haven't done the Wordle yet. So I'm going to go do my Wordle while I eat dinner. And then I'll send you the time of my Wordle. And we'll do Wordle another time. And okay, I'll see you. Thanks for joining me, David. And mm -hmm. I will talk to you guys later. Goodbye. Bye.